Hello, my name is Cuff for SB Gaming. We are here in City Skylines. It is episode 20 something. I'm 28. Yeah, the last one was 27. <laughs> Alright, and so where we last were, we were playing around with some of the new mods. I have the City Vitals. I have this, which is. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. This is the City Vitals you can toggle on or off, so we can actually place it anywhere we want. We can just put it up there, and yeah, that's the pause menu. Lane control, I think. If we, yep, okay, so, so how lane control works, if you haven't seen it before, is let's say we don't want any of this traffic to go straight we just want it to go left and right what we can do is select lanes select this section and then enable lane control and as you can see they're all green which means they can go that way now all we have to do is click that and then uh, turn it off and what should happen is that uh, Apparently this is not updating, but traffic will eventually, presuming it already hasn't been pathfind found to go that way. Those trucks were all respawned, so yeah, they are going to ignore our new lane control. But otherwise, yeah, this this should go left, that should go right, and yeah, that lane was probably. That truck was already destined to go there. That one as well. Yeah. But we really don't want to do that. And it looks like they are continuing. Are they taking the right routes? No. Nope. We have some that are still. All right, well, we are not gonna really worry about that. That's how it's supposed to work. I'm going to have to make sure it is working right. At least the mod is working as we can see, so it's kind of weird that although now the left arrow is not there. Interesting. Alright, let's hope that, uh, all right, so that's back to green. What if I disable lane control? Enable it. Oh, is that what you're supposed to do? Alright, so enable it, and then select it, and then disable it. Uh, enable it. Okay, apparently not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, let, let's just uh, look somewhere else. Anyway, yeah, nothing to see there. <laughs> Alright, so what were we going to do? We were, we were doing transit, and we have that set up, but... Oh, 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 wait a minute. We have 104,000, 105,000. I think it's about time to put in a dead body dead body is waiting for transport you can see these are the things that they don't like these are the things that they do like and yes they do indeed like schools all right so what we are going to do is obviously want to put in services we are going to need a university and that's something I've been holding off on but it's time to put it in all right so I have metro here I want to connect the university to the metro all right so it is an eight by something an eight by however much that is that is 16 it can fit there no it can't no it can't we 
can put it here, not here, and that'll be against that road. You can put it over here. It will provide solid access to this side of the city, as well as solid access over there. It is convenient to get through by this. If we were to put it over here, yeah, that side of the city wouldn't get much use out of it. And another thing we can do, if we wanted to, is actually, we can place it right here. Although that's right next to a, yeah, um, about that. You know what? I'm thinking that I am going to want to place this. Let's place it here. And I'm putting it two over because I want to put a metro station at the corner. Or do I want to? Yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. But I want to face it the other way or that way. I'm thinking. Let's face it on this side. Lots of happy faces. Lots of happy faces. Indeed, we finally get university. Now, we are going to want a little bit more education. This side is probably going to want it, definitely. So we have already pretty good coverage because this is fairly central. So I'm going to want to have it mainly covering this area. So I'm thinking probably along this roadway or somewhere in here. Now let's uh, put it in. I don't want to block off the... Uh, hmm. Put it down here. No, we want to get enough coverage down here. I am going to place it right about, yeah, right here is good. I'll give them nice green happy faces. And that's all of our money. But we are going to want to have one more elementary school over here. We do have eligible 1315 and a capacity of 600. And we have reached the big city. Yes, indeed. All that extra little bit of residential pushed us up to this capacity level. We now have access to water treatment plants. We have access to crematorium. We also have a new area. Oh, sweet. Sweet indeed. Our next level, Grand City, does not give us another area to unlock. But it does give us the solar power plant. That's at 15,000 population. Oh, yes, indeed. Landmarks. And for this, I would need 15,000 children in elementary schools. 15,000. That's a lot. That's 50 elementary schools you have to have to get that. And yes, these are, I think, the pre-release or the... This the pre-purchase uh, things. Thingies. Eiffel Tower, 30,000 squares of industrial zone built. And fill, fill seven instances of cemetery. All right. Well, we could do that. And milestones, yeah, achievements. Have more than 10 districts with unique policies. How many do I got? I think I got that many, although they don't have all different policies. Anyway, we're just going to let our money build up a bit more. Although we do have $63,000. Where can we put in... This is a four by four by six. We are going to put the 
elementary school right about uh, here. That'll give a bit more capacity. We don't want too, too many. Just because of reasons. I am going to zone in more of this. Let's, uh, yeah, fill. That should be good. I'm also going to zone in some agriculture right there. Yeah, that should be good. And yes, this road would be perfect for the uh, remove the zoning on. Let's uh, do that and that and that. And yeah, that's good. Zone that and that and that. Awesome. So we added more agriculture and forestry. We are using two hectares of 49 fertile land, and we are producing 134 units of forced products of 114,287 units per week. Yes, our oil mining has dropped, our ore mining has dropped as well. We're down to 12 units a week. And yeah, let's uh, zone some more of you and you. All right. And how is that doing over here? Those are coming in. And they are pumping away. And they could be getting sick. Pollution, that's not too, too bad for them. So that's a no big deal. What we did was we did keep them back a ways. Just so that, uh, you know, bad things wouldn't happen to them. We're going to zone a bit more here because we can. And I think I'm going to zone in a bit more here. And I could probably do another segment there. All right. Let's uh, continue with this. We are going to put in some more low and uh, high density. So put in some high density there. And we are just going to like that and that yeah let's do it along that road as well and I believe this district has a policy it has yeah high-rise ban heavy traffic ban it also has small business enthusiast and we don't have that we don't have any industrial, so that's kind of pointless. High-tech housing, we could boost it up even more if we want. And we have uh, average zone building level, so we're almost, most of them are two. We're getting to, to level two. Commercial zones, offices, Average land value, policies, population of 5,400. So this is where the bulk of our population is. And this place is 4331. And yeah, it is a very sprawling area. And this place has 2570 population. Households, 866 of 1133. Workers, 566 of 929. What we are going to do is continue to Oh, yep, indeed, we have some issues with electricity, and this might be a good time to put in some 
incinerators, of course. So we are going to put in two incinerators there. We are going to put in one over here. Oh, not enough money. So uh, we're not going to do that. And they need water, of course. So we are going to bring this to about here. And we can, of course, might as well start emptying. Let's uh, turn it on. Turn it on. They should start bringing the garbage into these facilities, hopefully. And yeah, there we go. We got some power out output. Processing rate, 1872, 18,720, 18,000. And that should definitely boost up our power production. It will increase. It is only really a temporary solution. And there is a passenger rail train, 43 of 240. This has 33% load. So we are not maxing out the, the rail line. And oh, we got some dead bodies. We got what, one, um, where's our cemetery? Do we have one? <laughs> we should have one. Cemetery, right there. Yeah, we have one right there. We may want to put a few more in. And yeah, it's something I probably should have been thinking about. Let's put in, could put in one right here. Although that's when you know. Of course not. Why would we want to put one in? Let's uh, throw one in right here. And how do I want to do this? Let's uh, throw it in. Is there anything else there? No, it's just blank space. Exactly. So we are going to throw in a cemetery there. And we are going to want a cemetery over here. And yeah, they can fit at the end of the road. Let's uh, put in one right about... Oh, I... Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't put enough space in. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put the cemetery right in about along this road, right there. And yes, I could use crematoriums and I just might. For now, it's all looking good, and one thing I plan to eventually do is build a larger cemetery area for aesthetics purposes. Yes, indeed. Where would we build it? I'm thinking. <laughs> I started doing this in, my, in one of my cities, and uh, it looked kind of interesting. I just don't have a, a spot that would be necessarily appropriate for it. I'll have to think about that. Crematorium is 25,000. 720 a week. And, yeah. So we had some dead body issues here. All because we only had one cemetery. We've added those in. We've added, of course... The incineration plants, and those are at max capacity now, and those are producing us a nice bit of power. And one thing I did, if I don't think I mentioned it, is I moved the power lines so that they would be in between the rail and the bridge, and the road bridge, over to Garbage Island. That was That's just mainly to clean that up. It would be nice if you could actually run the power along the bridge so that you didn't have to have that extra line. But, you know, what can you do? What can you do? 
And this doesn't have power, although... Let's uh, zone up some more stuff, shall we? We are at 12,759 people. And yeah, we are going to want to build the metro. We are going to want to build the bus system. I've been kind of leaving that as is. So what we are going to do is stuff. Now, if I look at transit, metro, have my metro running that way. So, where do I want to have my, what is the radius of sound? If I were to have it on this side, anything on this row, of course if I had it over here, like for instance in here, yeah, they get covered quite a bit. So I'm going to probably put my subways if I have space in here. No, I don't. No, I don't indeed. All right, so let's... Um... Hmm. to want to have transit station here yeah that would be good although I would like to have a second one nah that'd be a little too close I can always run bus up through here yeah that's going to be a good place for And then I'm going to run the second one here. Although I am going to need some more money. And what I can do is, of course, connect the tunnel. Like this. Unfortunately, it does uh, make it reasonably curved, so it doesn't look all that weird. All right. And yeah, those cost a lot of money to build. Let's speed up. And so we have our bus uh, there. We got passenger rail here. I am going to want to have probably passenger rail down here. Probably one here. Hmm. And they can go through here. All right, so at this point, I can buy a piece of land. That's right, I can buy land, although 14,000. So let's just let this run a bit. This one is 12,600, buy down here. That's 13,500. Yeah. Although it does give me that. This kind of useless to me. I could buy over here. No, I'm not going over there. If I go over there, that's 10,900. I'm not even expanding there. I'm expanding this way. So yeah, 14,400. It has, was it ore? And it has forestry. There is no farming or oil. I could expand in here. These are obviously going to be the next two tiles I get. Although with this, I can connect to the rail up there. I think this is going to be the next one I grab. Yes, indeed. We are going to grab that. And Charleston has now expanded once more. This allows me, of course, to connect this to here. So I'm going to have to think about what kind of exchange, interchange I'm going to want there. 
I could build another one of these. Let's just take a look to see how this is working. Alright, so traffic is light, as to be expected. I'm thinking... Yeah, the long sloping ramps, long curving ramps do not reduce the speed of the vehicles. It's a very compact shape as well, for what it does, especially. And one thing I'm going to do is over here, we are going to want to have access in through there as well as there so what I am going to do is build this I was thinking of using a regular or an interchange but I might just do something like this and I want it to go to about here Let's go to the furthest out before it drops, so right there. And then something like that. Yep, that works. And then what we are going to want to do for here is a two-lane road. Let's take snap to grid off. And even, even if it doesn't, if it. And we are going to want to drop it down. Like right about there. And then we are going to. Onto there. But we are, of course, going to. Yes, like that. And, oh, that is nice. That is nice indeed. With the the zoning turned off, we don't have any zoning coming off of this. That's awesome. So this will give any traffic who wants to go left and right an opportunity to do. And we are going to come from the other direction. Highway ramp. We are going to come down and about there we just want some nice long sloping ramps and yeah that's all right and the last of course is over here we will once again do a two-way road and right about there and then just uh, right about there oh yes indeed thank you for whoever made that mod and we are going in the other direction awesome that's a long ramp up which gives them plenty of space to accumulate. The only question is if I wanted to, for whatever reason, yes indeed, I can upgrade this and this to, for instance, highway, if I need to, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to go back to this. Yes indeed. And yeah. I do have an interchange, one of these here anyway. One way to, s no. It's one of these, overpass, Timbo's, turboing, highway to one way, interchange. Yep, something like this. The exact same setup, except on the one I built, because I built the ramps too steep, the minimum distance, it basically is impossible to place as you can see 
there's very limited space you can actually build it on. So that's not good. Anyway, this episode has gone on longer than I wanted to. But uh, that's just typical of this uh, game. And yeah, it's hard, hard to fit uh, city skylines into a 20 to 25 minute episode. Often you go 25 to 30 minutes or longer. Because you just want to keep playing and playing and playing and yeah. I'm sure you just want to keep watching and watching and watching and watching. Anyway, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. Thank you for watching this episode of City Skylines and have a good day.